right there it is again centered up in the eyes and all it takes is a little bit of practice a little bit of confidence in yourself and your ability to read that front sight okay because now we're going to move to the next segment of this program and that's movement and you're going to find if you practice it all that moving with that front sight or that gun shouldered up here looking at that front sight and trying to move is very very difficult okay and not only is it difficult to shoot accurately because the sight is bobbling it's also difficult to run so what's more important if someone's shooting at you you've got to lay fire back but you've also got to get out of the way so you've got to run and you got to be able to run effectively but fire effectively at the same time so when the military invented this rifle they knew that chances are bad guys were gonna shoot good guys were gonna go hey get out of the way and go to cover and they're hoping that five out of ten shots are gonna be pretty darn close and you can't tell from here but I know I hit a, out of those five shots I know I hit three or four of them so we're gonna move to the next segment and that is using this AR-15 in a real tactical way moving while shooting Point it up, we're moving off the diagonal. All right, there's basically two types of movement that you can make when it comes to a target. Either moving towards the target or away from the target. Now, pretty obvious that, you know, not much in between that. Whether you're going to a diagonally, uh, or coming diagonally, either going away or towards the target. Now, why would you go towards the target? Obviously, this guy's got a gun. He is a bad guy. The only reason I'd really go towards that target is to seek cover. If there's a wall here and I'm exposed, there's a wall up there, I may go towards it to get behind that wall. If he has my wife as a hostage, I don't think I want to retreat, and especially if I have an AR-15. I may want to go towards the target at that time. You'll find that point shooting while moving is difficult, but can be very effective when you have a 30 round magazine. Again, using the law of averages that you have to shoot three or four or five shots to get this guy to respond. So if we take the time now to practice a little bit of movement, we're more than likely going to go ahead and demonstrate the fact that you can be accurate when moving away from the target or towards the target. First objective though, guy has a gun. I've got my AR-15, the CAR here, very lightweight, very easy to carry. And if I'm in a situation where I think something's going to happen, I'm going to have it centered up, okay? A little later on I'll show you the sling that I would carry, but right now we're talking shooting, not carry, so I'm going to go ahead and do the sling later, but I'm going to have the gun basically here, okay? I'm going to have my finger pointed, and I'm going to just hold the gun here until I know something bad's going to happen or something bad happens. And there's my bad guy, and boy, he looks like he's pointing that gun right at me, and I don't think he's really happy with me. I want to get out of the way of gunfire and shoot. Okay, and especially in that order, all right? Here's my shot, pretty effective. First and foremost, get out of the way. If bad guy has gun is pointed at me, I'm not gonna outdraw him. I gotta be awfully lucky for him to miss me at this distance. So, first objective, out of the way, shoot. All right? Again, pointing at these distances with this kind of rifle, Headshot, headshot. Not bad, especially when you consider the velocity. It's going to take his head off. It's going to take his skull cap off. All right? Again, bad guy has gun. Move, point. And slight miss. Not a good thing. So perhaps I want to take advantage of the one advantage the AR-15 has, and that's multiple firepower. Shoot two or three shots. And you can see as I start to move, 
I started missing. One, two, three. All right. Not a good average. So let's try it again. Here I am. Gonna go to my left. Bad guy. Point. It's a little better. Took a little bit more time. See, all my shots are right here. Okay, again, let's do it again. It takes practice to do this kind of stuff. Bad guy has gun, out of the way. Okay, gonna center it up, I'm just bringing it straight up. Nothing fancy here. Up. Okay, all right, now, moving towards the target I found is a little easier. For whatever reason, the barrel's pointed up, we're moving off of the diagonal. All right, all my shots are still centered up. They're good. So, here I am, coming across. All right, all good shots right on my bad guy. Point, get out of the way. All right, you can see the movement induces bobble in the rifle. So I had one miss out of those shots there, because as I move, moving, swinging, especially moving side to side, you start to stray them out. All these shots were because I was moving to the side, this shot was because I moved to the side. Anything else, I'm going to be a little bit more accurate. Now we come back a little farther, index our target, good shots. Again, taking that front sight, placing it right over my target. So the front sight is covered with the body of this bad guy. Not seeing the rear sight, I just have the front sight and this V here somewhere in his body. And I know that if I want to shoot in this area, I want to make sure I don't aim much higher than his nose with that front sight. I want to keep that sight a little bit lower even, so I'm shooting right about here. There you go. All right, now we're unloaded. Go ahead and work with this camera here. We're going to talk about moving towards the camera. Again, gun's unloaded, all right? Now, what I know I'm going to do, got the gun centered up, okay? Here it is, centered up. That's what I'm trying to do, pointing Hey, hey you, I got you, I'm talking about you, see that, right here, boom, okay? Now, what's the difference between that and that, okay? Look, okay, there we are. We're talking about the same exact principle of pointing, point, bush. Now, move, same thing, okay? There we are. All right, I haven't moved. I'm just saying, hey, hey you. Yeah, over there. Okay, boom. All right, so you can see that the pointing ability is very natural. Now we're talking about that lens is only two inches wide. All right, we're talking about a small object, that lens that I'm trying to point right at. So if I can keep my shot centered up in it, then, I know I can keep it on a human body. So if you look at this aperture right there, and if I see this aperture right here, all I'm doing is bringing it up right in between it. With my peripheral view, I'm looking at the target, I'm just bringing the sight up into my line of sight. It's the modified sweet spot theory. Instead of using both sights, I'm using just one. All right. And that's how it works on these targets. And that's why it's really your best bet for movement, okay? Because we know that we're not gonna be able to hold the sight up here and move effectively, as effective as we want to. You can move forward this way, very effectively, but it's very hard to move diagonally.